Good morning, Red Devils. This is your ASB President, Ruth Pineda. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good morning, Red Devils. I'm Sadie, and this is your Red Devils Review. Sports clearance ends February 22nd. Hi, hey, Mrs. Salazar. I heard you changing the ASB store hours. What are they? Ooh, thanks for the question, Danny. Um, so the ASB, uh, the new ASB store hours will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at lunchtime, and then after school. And that's after school. It's from 2:45 to 3:15, right? Concessions will still go on nutrition break, but what I'm talking about is sales for AP tests grad night tickets, prom, prom tickets just went on sale, um, and like clothing items and other things out of our registers. And for the people who want to know, how can we change hours? Ooh, that's a good question, Danny. Hey, I believe in transparency. Uh, last week, we reviewed our practices um, and our, our procedures, and you know what? We found some things that we were doing kind of sloppy. And we were also putting our ASB sellers in vulnerable positions, our students' money in vulnerable positions. We can't right. have that. What? Right? Yeah. yeah. Swear. Yeah. So, right, we want to streamline our processes. Um, mm -hmm. We're changing a couple things and we're starting with the store hours right. because uh, one of our biggest missions is always to not only protect the student experience, mm -hmm. but the students' money. That's the right double way. Exactly. You get it. You get I know, it. I All right. That was my message. If you don't know or you do know, it's Black History Month. It is. Black History Month. I feel pretty good. You guys know Black History Month is also known as African American History Month, and it is an observance in Canada, the UK, and of course the United States. It began as a way for remembering important people and important events in the Black or African American community. So if you want to hear more information about this, yeah, just pay attention. I always knew I'd go to space. Mae Jemison, the first African-American woman astronaut, once said. Jemison, born in 1956, is also a physician, teacher, and the founder and president of two technology companies, the Jemison Group, and an advanced medical device company, Biosentient Corporation. Jemison practiced medicine in Los Angeles, California, before serving in the Peace Corps as a medical officer in Sierra Leone and Liberia for two years. In addition to speaking English, Jemison speaks Swahili, Russian, and Japanese. Inspired by the life of Sally Ride, the first woman in space, Jemison applied to NASA and in 1987, she became one of only 15 people chosen out of 2,000 candidates for their astronaut corps. Jemison's first and only space flight began on September 12, 1992, when the space shuttle Endeavour took off for its second mission. Jemison served as the science mission specialist on the eight-day mission, which was a joint effort between the United States and Japan. Jemison resigned from NASA in March of 1993 to form the Jemison Group Incorporated, which highlights ways to bring science and technology to everyday life. The following year, she founded the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for Excellence, named in honor of her mother, which includes an international space camp for high school students called The Earth We Share. In 2011, the U.S. military chose this foundation to receive $500,000 in funding to help launch the 100-year Starship project. Our task, our mission, Jemison explained, is to make sure all the capabilities needed to mount a human interstellar mission exist. The library is having a book sale today and tomorrow during lunch and for an hour after school. Hey guys, we're back. Back again. Back to back. Me back. Stack the ends. Um, so we're here to let you know, if you did not know, a group, a club on campus called BSU, Black Student Union, is going to be hosting a multicultural assembly after our four day weekend on Friday. So it's going to be Friday, February 22nd. February 22nd. And we are here to let you know about the Spirit Week. We're having another Spirit Week. So Tuesday, February 19th, is Diversity Day. Wear rainbow colors, yellow, pink, green. Wear all the colors of the rainbow. That was not the color of the rainbow, but you know what I'm talking about. Wednesday's what? HBCU Day. So 
HBCU stands for Historically Black College University. So basically you're gonna wear your HBCU gear and if you don't have HBCU gear, that's okay. You can just wear black. And we might have a surprise for you guys that day at lunch, so. We might. You might wanna, might wanna participate. Thursday is going to be Old School Hip Hop Day. Bring L it back. LL Cool J. <laughs> you guys already know, so come in your Throwback Thursday fits. Let us see what you got. Hashtag Throwback Thursday on that day. Okay. Period. Hashtag. What's Friday? Friday is another diversity day. But Friday is Rep Your Culture Day. Yeah. So if you're Filipino, Black, Mexican, we do not care. Show your diversity. Show us your culture. Let us know what you are and who you are. Where you came from. It's all, all important. It's all love. And we're going to have many performances. So make sure you make sure you go. February 22nd. Remember. That was the longest enough month. Hey Red Devils, it's Brandon, your ASB Vice President. And Danielle, your ASB Attorney General. We're here to invite you all to our next Senate meetings on Tuesday, February 19th and Wednesday, February 20th. We'll be going over things like club requirements, officer elections, and homecoming nominations. So Senators, you'll be given a slip to be released at 11.45 a.m. to the new gym. And yeah, I hope to see you there. Bye! Hey Red Devils, so ASB will be having their talent show on March 22. If you guys are interested, all staff, clubs, students are invited to participate. Applications will be out February 15th and they will be due February 26th. So if you're interested, stop by the ASB and pick up a form. Thanks. Seniors, if you didn't get to turn in your application yesterday, there will be a second chance for you to turn it in on March 13th. Travel Club will be hosting a pancake breakfast at American Legion. Pre-sale tickets are $5 and $8 at the door. Mecca will be selling candy apples for $3 in Ms. Vaca's room. That's all I have today for you, Red Devils. I'm Sadie, and this has been your Red Devils Review. Make it a great day, or not, the choice is always yours.